Hello everyone. So, hello. I hope you are doing well there. So, as all of you have been asking me to describe this low level design and high level design in a project. And in fact, I have explained this to many of the groups that approach me, but I think it would be better if I will frame a lecture on this and share it to you, right? So with that, I'm going to give a detailed explanation of this high level and low level design and how to uh, design this LLD and SSD for your project with examples in this uh, lecture. And also you'll get to know the differences between this high level design and low level designs. So let's start the lecture then. So you all know me, uh, myself, Dr. Dibuj Dibora. So what is high level design? High level design means a general system design. So this means that the overall system designs and it describes the overall description and architecture of your applications. It includes the description of the system architecture, like you know, database design, brief description of the system, services, platforms, and relationship among the models. So by the uh, means high level design, we actually mean that we are talking about the whole system designs means where we will include the platforms, services, and then relationship among the different models. So you are including these things. So as we are talking on the overall system design basis, so this is also known as macro level design. So high level design is also known as macro level design. And it is usually created by solution architect and it converts the business and client's requirements into high level solutions. So if someone asks you that what we need for this high level design, then that is actually your software requirement specifications. That is SRSC. I hope you know about that, right? The requirements, requirements are the first thing that you need to find out when you go for developing any software applications. So these things are required for high level design. And remember this ACSLD ACL, is being created by solution architect. When it is created, then only we go for low level design. Now, you know this high level design includes many things like decisions about what platform you are going to use, say in your case, your laptop, your PC, or you can use your desktop or tablet, whatever it is. You, these things also need to be decided when you go for high level design. Then what data design you are going to use, like you know, two tire access, three tire or direct access. Then what are the interfaces with other system, like external processing system, everything you need to decide at this space when you go for ACLT. Okay, this will also include information about the project architecture at a relatively high level. You should break the project into the large chunks that handle the project's measure area into functionality. And depending on your approach, this may include a list of the models that you need to build or a list of families for your project. Means what are the models that you are going to need for your project, you need to decide right here. Let's uh, take an example for this. I hope this will clear your doubts on this. Suppose you are building a system to manage the results of Austria stresses. Could be an example, Mandlo. I'm considering this one. You might decide the project needs like database. Obviously, database is the main point that you need to discuss, I mean, uh, consider. Okay, data correctly. What we need exactly? We need database. So you have to decide about that. Then what are the classes that will be required? Like in this case, this ostrich example, what will be Race, ostrich, jockey, like that. Then what are the user interfaces? 
to enter Austrian jockey data and other race results data, produce result reports and to create new races. ये सब के लिए क्या क्या इंटरफेसेस आप लोगे ये भी आपको इस एस एल एस एल डी फेस में ही डिसाइड करना पड़ेगा राइट देन एक्सटर्नल इंटरफेसेस टू सेंड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड स्पैम टू पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड फैंस वाया ईमेल लाइक टैक्स मैसेजेस वॉइस मेल एंड एनीथिंग एल्स यू कैन थिंक ऑफ सो डाटा बेसिस क्लासेस हो गया यूजर इंटरफेसेस हो गया एक्सटर्नल इंटरफेसेस हो गया ये सारे चीज जो है ये एक एस एल का ही पार्ट है तो एस एल डी आप लोगों को समझ में आ गया यू गॉट इट वट इज एस एल डी ओवरऑल दिस इज ए माइक्रो लेवल डिजाइन फेज वर यू आर कंसिडरिंग द डिजाइन ऑन द एबोव द सिस्टम मीन्स वॉट एग्जैक्टली द सिस्टम इज गोइंग टू नीड यू आर डिसाइडिंग राइट हियर ना लेट्स कम टू द लो लेवल डिजाइन एक बार एस एल डी हो गया तो आप लो लेवल डिजाइन तक आ सकते हो तो लो लेवल डिजाइन इज लाइक डिटेलिंग एस एल डी means it refers to component level design process so asld mein aapne jo jo component mention kiya hai us component ko elaborate karna kaha hai low level design phase mein means you are going to detailing the asld components here it describe detailed description of each and every module means it includes actual logic for every system component and it goes deep into each module specifications yahan jitna deep jaoge ki koi ek module pakad liya aapne जो आपने हाई लेवल डिजाइन में मेंशन किया था आप ये उस मॉडल को पूरा डिटेल में डेफ में जो डेस्क्राइब करने का काम होगा आप कहा करोगे यू आर गोइंग टू डू दैट इन लो लेवल डिजाइन क्योंकि ये आप डिटेल में एक कंपोनेंट बेसिस में जा रहे हो ओवरऑल सिस्टम जैसे एस एल डी में पूरा सिस्टम कंसिडर किया था तो वो मैक्रो हुआ था अभी कॉम्पोनेंट बेसिस में कंसिडर कर रहे हो तो ये क्या होगा दिस इज ए माइक्रो लेवल और डिटेल डिजाइन ठीक है इसको कभी कभी हम माइक्रो लेवल और डिटेल डिजाइन भी बोलते हैं ठीक है एंड इट विल बी क्रिएटेड बाय द डिजाइनर्स एंड डेवलपर जो एस एल डी था वो किसने क्रिएट किया था सॉल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट नाउ एल एल डी इल बी क्रिएटेड बाय द डिजाइनर्स और डेवलपर्स सो इट विल कन्वर्ट द हाई लेवल सोल्यूशन इन टू डिटेल सोल्यूशन एंड इट इज क्रिएटेड चेक एंड मीन्स आफ्टर द एस एल डी एस एल डी होने के बाद ही आप एल एल डी क्रिएट कर सकते हैं लाइक जो एग्जाम्पल मैंने दिया था ऑस्ट्रिशिंग एप्लीकेशन उसका एल एल डी देखते हैं अभी ठीक है द ऑस्ट्रिश रेसिंग एप्लीकेशन डाटा बेस पीस उड इंक्लूड एन इनिशियल डिजाइन फॉर दाटा बेस इट शुड स्केस हाउस द टेबल्स दैट विल होल्ड द रेस ऑस्ट्रिश एंड जॉकी इंफॉर्मेशन एट दिस पॉइंट यू विल ऑल्सो डिस्कवर इंटरक्शन बिटवीन द डिफरेंट पीसेस ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट दैट मे रिक्वायर सेंजेस हियर एंड देयर ठीक है, the Austrian project's external interfaces might require a new table to hold email, tax messaging, and other information for fans. देखो यहाँ tables पहले तो आपने इसे बता दिया था क्या-क्या चाहिए था ऐसे दिन में. अभी LLD में उसी application का हर एक table को आप sketch करोगे. Means detail में जाओगे. Every table basis detail में आप यहाँ जा रहे हो. तो कुछ diagrammatic examples के जरिए I will make it clear to you like. This diagram is for SLD, which high-level design for web application-based project. If I tell you, any web-based application, what is needed? What we need exactly? Front-end and back-end. How is the communication going? This interface, this database. So, this is overall our system design. So, this is a kind of SLD. This is why you have SLD in uh, in case of Microsoft Azure. Consider it. Look, for Microsoft Azure, this is a back-end. In back-end, what is there? You see the integration layer. इंफॉर्मेशन आप फ्रंट पे रखे बैक एंड का भी देख लिया आपने फ्रंट का भी देख लिया ये भी एक एस एल डी है नाउ लेट्स कंसीडर एस एल डी फॉर एन इमेज प्रोसेसिंग प्रोजेक्ट कि आप लोग अभी देखते हो कि एफ ए आई बेस और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस प्रोजेक्ट बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है बहुत ज्यादा कर रहे हैं सो वी हैव टू हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट हाई लेवल डिजाइन फॉर एन इमेज प्रोसेसिंग और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस प्रोजेक्ट कंसीडर दिस वन 
you can see this, right? In this case, input, whatever the inputs you are considering like medical images or satellite images, depending on the applications. Then we have data pre-processing part. Data in the data pre-processing, you may have data cleansing, like removal of unreliable or irrelevant place categories and royal removal. These are the parts of data pre-processing. Then you need to give this classification process, means after data pre-processing is complete, it, you come to the classification process where you may use supervised learning. Okay. And there, you, there are different techniques like ANN, artificial neural network classification, or binary decision tree classification, or unsupervised learning, you may also use. So this is the classification system, and the results of which will be provided to data integrations, where common platform will be used. Okay. Then suppose land use for reclassifications, then this will be evaluated, this that uh, result will be evaluated and accuracy will be determined and finally you'll get the output. Okay, and you will analyze the classification with the help of like capacity statistics, efficiency measures, or the statistic quality measures, correlation between data sets. So external fit, satellite images, open ship metadata, then external fit, official land use data. So yes, you have the idea, this overall was system, was image processing project up bana rahe uska high level design. Me piece bol raho, input x stage ho gaya, data pre-processing x stage ho gaya, classification ho gaya, data integration, evaluation output, this overall SLD for an image processing project, or you can consider this for any artificial intelligence and computer vision or computer vision based project. Isi ka hi law level design kya hoga component me har ek component. Isi ka data pre-processing me kya kya model use karoge, kya kya techniques use karoge. Isi ka detailed explanation like this one. LLD for an image processing project. You can consider this background image change detection, change detection image, region of insurance. You are considering focus of attention, corner extraction, then tracking, blobs at current frame. So you are considering one image with respect to the technique that you have mentioned in any stage here, and you are going into depth of this, and you are analyzing the res result in depth of this. Means you are designing the low level design phase, detailed explanation phase. Now it's your time to find out whether you have got the correct idea for SLD or LLD. You consider this image, and you tell me whether this is in image for high level design or low level design? You'll comment the answer. Now let's come to the conclusion part. So conclusion is about the differences or comparison between high level design and low level design. High level design, you know, also known as macro level design or macro level or system design. Low level design is also known as micro level or detailed design. High level design, overall architecture of the application is shown. Low level design, Detailed description of the is an every module. Then high-level design participants are design team or review team and client. While low-level design, only the design team or developer team can do that. Then input will be in the case of high-level design is your SRS, that is software requirement specification. While in the case of low-level design, input is our high-level design, which are reviewed and authorized. Means you know. Low level design is performed only after high level design and take considering that as an input. Then in case of high level design output criteria is our database design or functional design and review report. While in case of low level design, the output criteria is your program specification and unit test plan. So these are the differences between this SLD and LLD. So I hope that uh, I have explained everything clearly about high level design and low level design. So you also try to answer the question that I have asked. And you also try to design this SLD and LLD for your assigned project. And if still any doubt exists, you can ask me to comment. That's all for tomorrow. It means of course today, sorry. And tomorrow you will uh, do this and because you have presentation on Saturday. So this is for all. And one important information for all of you that if you have any doubt regarding your machine learning based project, then you can also comment here. Thank you. Bye bye.